we often talk in martial arts about um, staying on the outside. And that's actually a good policy. If Jeff were to throw just a, a straight punch at me, I really do want to go on the outside of him. People don't throw straight punches. In reality, most people have a bit of a curve to their punch. And so, quite likely, people are so skeptical about the idea of deflecting. If you ever look at it from above, you'll see that the circle of the punch and my arm coming in a circle around there seems almost impossible. I'm far better off by conventional logic to intercept it with a straight line than I am to try and go on the outside of the circle. That denies the game the uh, one element, which is a, the three-dimensional element. If we're looking from above and he's punching with a cir circle, trying to intercept him with our own circle on the two-dimensional plane is going to be virtually impossible. However, if you look at it in three dimensions, all of a sudden we've got these angles as well as those. And when I'm deflecting with a hip heel kick and he punches, I'm going to step and move around. So, punches, deflect. And from there, right to. So when we're dealing with a, um, uh, a punch, it's important to remember that you have a number of different angles at your disposal. And uh, depending how you get, uh, your attack flying at you, you can uh, circle with the angle up. The Sukuyu okay, is one of the mainstays of um, Joe work, and it's important to have a look at the position that you're in. The position you're in before you actually inflict the downward strike is such that you're looking through the middle of the jaw and the distance when looking from the hand to the end of the jaw. So it's exactly in between. Now in itself, this uh, isn't a posture you hold for any length of time. It's just a transient point that you're working through. So people often say, well, this isn't a terribly good position because um, it, it can get hit. In fact, it looks like it might be good. It looks like the angle might slide down. But if you examine it, coming from this side, please. If you look at the strike, and I pause it here, it could just as easily slide up the strip, hit the stick and hit my hand, as much as it could slide down. So if you examine it statically, in terms of that position, it would look flawed. But that's actually not the case. The case is that you are taking it out of context, which is that circular movement. So as he attacks, it slides around. I'm going to look again. One, two. Okay. Come from this angle. So one, two. Let's have a look at it in slow motion. As he attacks, one pauses there. There isn't a pause, that's the problem. That is still doing a circular movement like that. And This is 45 degrees back to Kibirachi. This is 45 degrees forward to Kibirachi. So when Simon kicks, I move past him and in. Okay. One. One, he kicks. Okay. My problem with simply retracting is that he will chase me. And I'm facing a very powerful kick. Oh shit. This is not a good position to be in. So, I face, I could try and throw a punch, but I know something bad is going to happen. Because it doesn't take much for Simon to curve around, and his, my momentum is focused on my kick, not on my arms. My arms are going to have much travel. So, part of the answer is, when I'm kicking, to move past him. My momentum is tra already traveling forwards. One, two, three. Yeah?